Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So frequency, it talks about the number of sessions in a week. Also, I just would like to remind you to include rest days. Account for rest days when putting together your plan. It's important to give your muscles a chance to recover after your exercises. I stands for intensity. This refers to how difficult an exercise is. It talks about the difficulty level of the exercise you are into. If you are new to an exercise program, you don't want to make the plan too challenging. This could lead to injury or burnout. You start at a level that feels comfortable and then gradually increase the difficulty as your strength and endurance build. With the strength training, there are three primary methods you can use to measure intensity. First is the amount of weight lifted. Second, the number of repetitions completed. And the third one is the number of sets. So as a beginner, the level of difficulty should be based on your fitness level. And it is very important to gradually increase the level of difficulty as you go along the way, depending still on your level of fitness. T stands for time. This refers to the duration of each exercise. How many minutes or how many hours do you do your exercise for every session? Experts recommend at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or at least 75 minutes of high intensity exercise a week. This can look like 30 minutes for moderate exercise or 15 minutes of intense exercise a day. Of course, you can increase or decrease this duration based on several factors including current fitness level, age, weight, health, and others. A cardio workout is recommended to last a minimum of 30 minutes. This can be longer depending on the exercise. A long bike ride, for example, could take up to 2 hours. Resistance workouts usually last between 45 and 60 minutes. Don't add time to your workouts until you are ready to do so. Once your endurance builds, you can gradually increase the time spent exercising. The last one is the type. This refers to what kind of exercise you'll be doing under the umbrella of cardio or strength training. Cardio is any type of exercise that improves your cardiovascular system. This includes running, swimming, walking, dancing, aerobic routines, and cycling. Strength training, on the other hand, is any type of exercise that tones and strengthens the muscles. 
This includes the use of weights like bicep curls and bench presses, body weight exercises such as squats, push up, pull ups, and sit up. I have here an exercise program wherein the FITT principle is incorporated in the simplest way. First, if your goal is to lose weight, your fit plan might look like this. For the frequency, get your heart rate up to 3 to 6 days of the week. So 3 to 6 days a week. For its intensity, this will depend on your current level of fitness. For a high intensity, workout aim to reach 70 to 80 percent of your maximum heart rate or mhr for the time aim for around 20 to 30 minutes per workout you can increase the workout length as you build your endurance for the type any type of cardiovascular training such as dancing walking running rowing jogging hiking cycling and swimming etc for the cardiovascular exercise we have the frequency which is four days a week so there are four sessions a week for the intensity moderate 60 to 70 percent heart rate for the time 30 minutes per session and the type will be jog for increasing the strength we have the frequency still four days a week for its intensity intermediate that it's that is three sets of 10 to 12 reps and then the, the type should be various leg exercises such as deadlifts hamstring curls squats standing calf raises leg extension and leg press or alternatives for the time it should be 45 to 16 minutes for the discussion about sets and reps you may look for uh, the videos which i made before in this channel don't forget that when you are doing an exercise program always remember the following notes don't make the plan too hard for example when in strength training the goal is to push your uh, muscles to the point of fatigue without over exerting them only increase the weight for an exercise when you can still maintain proper form and of course add variety to your workouts to achieve a balanced body you need to work several different muscle groups this can mean doing different kinds of activities for fitness it will also help you to avoid dreaded exercise rack Regardless of your fitness level, you can implement the FITT principle as a way to create an effective exercise program. This will help you reach your fitness goals and stay consistent with your workouts. Before starting any exercise program, you may want to consult with your doctor to ensure you're safe to do so. This especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions. Overall, know your limits only gradually increase the intensity once you're comfortable it's your workout plan so always feel free to tailor it for you thank you for watching